hello students welcome to the chemistry world today i am going to discuss about electronic spectroscopy it is also known as uv spectroscopy and first of all we have to consider the index so in here first one types of transitions which exhibit by the electronic spectroscopy second thing exochrome and third thing chromophores and fourth thing is fx which are exhibited by the uv spectroscopy now we have transitions four types and fx also four types so first transitions sigma to sigma star transition next pi to pi star transition sorry n to sigma star or next pi to pi star next n to pi star we have four types and fx pathochromic shift and hyperchromic shift hypochromic shift and hypsochromic shift these are the four types which causes the effects in the uv spectroscopy so first of all uh, later we go on discuss about uh, questions on this also okay let us draw a line to differentiate so this is the index which i am going to discuss in this video So first of all we are learning about the transitions transitions uh, four types so first of all we have to differentiate the four types in four boxes then we can easily remember what we are learning okay so first of all first one sigma to sigma star next pi to pi star next n to sigma star and n to pi star so these are all the allowed transitions which are uh, unsymmetrical orbitals so they can have the uh, transitions but we have the sigma to pi star and pi to sigma stars these are not allowed because the reason is they have the same symmetrical orbitals means jared to jared the transition does not occur mm, the jared and unjared concept i will tell in the next video uh, these two transitions does not occur due to the symmetrical orbitals means which are uh, sigma and pi star or the jared and the jared so the transition between jared and jared is not occur and it is the selection rule in uv spectroscopy so based on the selection rule this these two transitions does not occur and these four transitions only occur in the uv spectroscopy so next we are going to discuss about the electronic energy level diagram okay electronic energy level diagram gives the um, the grammatic representation of these of these transitions and uh, these can be easily remembered by the bonding and anti bonding transitions and non bonding orbitals to anti bonding orbitals transition i will i will show you next so first of all we we have to go through this diagram 
so we have sigma pi and pi star and sigma star levels and we have the orbitals like sigma z red pi an z red pi star z red and sigma star an z red so z red to an z red the transition may occur so first of all sigma to sigma star the transition occur so it is called as allowed transition next pi to pi star uh, an z red to z red so the transition is allowed next n to sigma star where n is non-bonding non orbital so it does not consider as 0 or 1 0 next sigma star is 1 0 next uh, n to pi star so these are the allowed transitions next forbidden transitions are sigma to pi star see sigma is 0 and pi star is 0 so the transition does not occur next pi to sigma star 1 0 and 1 0 so uh, the transition does not occur so in the case of uh, this selection rule this transition does not obey so these two are not there and remaining four transitions are there in this so these four these four transitions uh, further classified into allowed transitions and forbidden transitions means see let us differentiate uh, these four transitions and we have the intensity and example so first of all we go we go through this first of all and uh, sigma to sigma star next pi to pi star next and to pi star next and to sigma star okay so first of all examples we have to write the examples blindly for the four transitions okay mm, first sigma to sigma star alkenes pi to pi star alkenes alkynes aromatic compounds which are unsaturated compounds which have the double bond and the triple bond only pi bonds itself so it is considered under pi to pi star and n to pi star the examples of carbonyl compound um, means it has the pi bond and lone pair of electrons of oxygen next and to sigma star the examples are alcohol and all alkyl halide here we have the sigma bond which is sigma star and we have the lone pair of electrons oxygen in oxygen okay so next intensity we have to go to the intensity also intensity also represented as e maximum e maximum which is greater than 10 to the power of 4 when the intensity is greater than 10 to the power of 4 it is said to be allowed transition and the time the transition takes place within 0.1 second so it is allowed transition so sigma to sigma star is allowed transition next pi to pi star has the intensity of greater than 10 to the power of 4 so it is also a allowed transition which has the greater than 10 to the power of 4 I mean 10,000 next um, and to pi star and n to sigma star both have them less than 10 to the power of 2 means 100 it has less than 100 intensity so both are considered as the forbidden transition and these are the reasons so finally we have to conclude that the sigma to sigma star and pi to pi star are the allowed transitions and and the transition takes place between bonding orbitals to antibond to molecular orbitals Next. the forbidden trans uh, and and to pi star and and to sigma star are the forbidden transitions which are not which are 
takes place between the non bonding orbitals and the anti bonding orbitals so it is the this video and in the next section we will discuss about the later things of this index of electronic spectroscopy thanks for watching